You live in the Arctic. What comes to mind about your home? We come from the land. We come from the land. And because of that, we need to take care of it because it's going to take care of our the ones who come after us. And the land depends on us to take care of it. Um, we don't trash it. My dad taught us when we were camping, leave it the way we found it. And, and that was drilled into us. And so my kids, oh, he's my sons, they saw a poster that said, uh, that had uh, an old woman. She had a broom and she was telling the younger kids who had, the younger students in the school who had uh, thrown a piece of trash on the floor. Pick it up. That's you, mom. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> so I learned, I learned early on uh, if, if a mess had been made in a camping area, I would clean it up. I felt it was my duty because my duty, and I think everybody's duty, is to take care of the land, to, to protect it for our future generations. Do you remember a time or a story that has stayed with you that represents a core value of your culture? Oh, definitely sharing. That, that's a very important part. We are asked to share the best of what we have with others. And I remember a, a story of an elder from Anaktuvik Pass who was considered a great hunter. And he told a group, I think it was in the 1978 Pui with God. He said, I am not a good hunter. My wife is a good hunter. When I bring home the meat, she shares with those who are not able to hunt, uh, with those who have lost their husbands, with those who are elderly. She creates this, this circle of giving, and because she creates that, it gives me more to hunt and bring home. So he gave the, you know, to, to his wife. And sharing is so important. There's all these dramatic changes happening in the Arctic. How can we help the people of the North? I know that people today usually don't believe, still believe we live in snow igloos. But understand that we are still living the subsistence life, that we are dependent on the oil and the caribou and the walrus and the bear seal and the birds and the fish. We still depend on them for our food. It is for our soul that we eat them. And if we have gone too long without eating any, we start grazing, eating anything. There's that hunger to have that, that wild food that wildness. Uh, besides getting to know our people, what we are like, our similarities, and honoring the differences, um, what else they can do is um, educate people, educate others, what they have learned, what is true about us. And understand that sharing is very important to us. Mm -hmm. That holding things back, that, that's one of the things that, that was uh, criticized by the missionaries, our sharing. And it's, it's mind boggling to, to say don't share. It's mind boggling to us. And yes, to understand us, understand our way of life, understand our need to go out and hunt and educate other people. Write to uh, 
to people who need to understand. Use the social network to share those, what you have learned. And uh, just make sure it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure it's the truth. And don't um, extend any lies <clears throat> about us.